previously on Assassin's Creed. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head! Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight! Once we begin, we cannot stop. I will not heed your cries. Your soul depends on it. My queen, the Shalos, has been taken. Toka failed to bring me any but you, and now you defy me! He touched me so that now I might touch you. You can hide nothing from a true servant of God. Go on, Amiens, where my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! My nobles need to see me getting something from you, nobles. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. Come, Eivor! Ha! Gay! Hello there, lords and ladies. I am the mighty Gammon. We are continuing our epic journey with the strongest manlet in Francia. Today we attacked Paris, but first, Eivor needed a little rest at the camp. And by rest, I mean a severe binge drinking episode that turned his liver into primordial soup and caused him to sh** himself. The man is so adept at drinking that he just inhales the alcohol now. What a chad. Still a manlet though. Proper face full of Stella love. Nice. Unfortunately, this cat would be the only pussy Eivor was getting tonight. After sharpening his axe whilst pissed out of his mind, a very sensible activity I might add, he finally got some rest to prepare for the massive battle ahead. I wonder what he dreamt about. Oh god. Oh my god! Eivor was awoken by the sound of Clive screaming nonsense at a load of men outside. What could possibly be so important to interrupt a man's sleep? Alright, the siege. The whole point of this DLC, I remember now. Let's see what he has to say then. The day of vengeance! What is this animation? <laughs> The siege was imminent. What awesome multi-stage assault could I expect from the entire focus of this expansion? I was treated to a cutscene that bypassed a whole stage of the siege. This looked pretty, but I wanted to scale the walls. I want to play the siege, not watch the siege. We charged towards the gate to meet Count Odo in combat. However, he chickened out and had his two bald friends confront us instead. Goslin, the crazy warrior priest wielding a giant metal cross, gave a rousing religion speech before also chickening out and running away. We retaliated against this speech with the head of Baphomet the horse demon and a viking battle song. This was actually cool, I felt like Eivor was going to enter a mosh pit any second. I am the gate of Paris! That is the most stereotypical French accent I've ever heard. Is this a parody? I, I don't know. Get over here! What the f***? Come here, you Parisian bastard. Abby! Football! Where the hell were you lot 10 seconds ago? I sprinted through the streets of Paris like a mad onion on steroids, slaying every Frankish guard I could find, sparing only the women and children. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. Oh god, c cut the cameras! Yeah, just on my way to the pub with the lads. We were surrounded by the village people and threatened with a less than good time by Odo, who stood comfortably atop the gatehouse. This man was getting very irritating, but I wouldn't resort to violence because I'm a peaceful viking. Oh no, a character whose name I forgot has died. What a shame. Despite being broken by Odo's trap, we still managed to free run around the city to locate towers that we could light for our catapults. The atmosphere reminded me of London from Syndicate, only there was far less smoke and shit in the air here. Once the pyres were lit, the catapults immediately destroyed the small gate to the church with a direct hit. Now I don't want to say this is unrealistic, but... The gates are down! Charge! There are like five guys here. What kind of charge is this? That's a shocking effort, lads. It was up to me to assassinate the priest so he would stop summoning men to attack the massive army of five guys I had collected outside. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed. I didn't realize the Joker had a cameo in this game. Jared Leto has really let himself go. I found him. The priest was going to regret crossing me. He would die silently in silence, in the darkness, because I'm a stealthy assassin. 
<laughs> Assassin's Creed. Clive entered the church soon after the priest had been slain. I thought he would be happy with the fact that I had done his work for him and the danger to his men was no longer present. But no, he killed all the innocent women and children in the church instead. One way of showing happiness, I suppose. I located a hidden passage in the palace which allowed me to circumvent the walls, hopefully in time to convince Odo to stop the fight before Clive killed everyone in the city. The passage brought me straight into the courtyard where I could use my stealth skills to my advantage. Oh fuck. Come on then, son. You can't fight me. What? I'd finally acquired the key to Odo's room. If I could find his wife, maybe she would agree to a threesome. I mean, convince him to stop fighting and have a threesome. Is that you, Odo, my love? Oh, it is I, Le Count Odo. I'm here to claim my delectable wife. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor. Oh, je suis. Mother. Where are you? Oh. After taking the tower key from his dying wife, I discovered Odo chilling with his priest. Walter wanted Odo to visit his wife before she died, but he was more concerned with hiding in a tower until King Shrek would supposedly arrive to save the day. You've got a mask on, mate. You're ruining a perfectly good mask with wine, you daft prick. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. Fifteen minutes? I usually only last thirty seconds. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. If it ain't a beer, I ain't interested, mate. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. <laughs> out of respect, I won't damage your stained glass windows. Oh, fuck. Eivor defeated the Count spectacularly before being interrupted by the sound of horns from outside. Charles, the morbidly obese, had arrived with an army to take back Paris. But wait! Betrayal! The king offered us Vikings a truce instead, much to Odo's abject horror. The psychotic master I warned him about didn't actually care about the defenders of Paris? Or the fact they were all dead? Say what? Charles extended his hand in peace, agreeing to make us allies of Paris and wealthy beyond measure. What was fascinating is all I could focus on was how thick and breedable he was looking. The man is a whole bakery. Oh, my son. This game is bloody haunted, I swear to God. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? <laughs> Let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Yeah. Let him remember the red mist on the air. Yeah. <laughs> Taste of iron. Yeah! <laughs> what the f is going So, anyway, I raced a pig instead of confronting Clive about the stroke he just had. I also really enjoyed throwing cheese instead of paying my taxes. Clive had a severe existential crisis about the futility of all existence before walking off into the wilderness to sleep with a deer or some shit. I visited our dear Odo, who was now in open rebellion against the king, to discuss the queen. Apparently, his men guarding her in a nearby tavern had not reported back, so I was to look for her. I couldn't pass up that thick bunda, so I agreed. Everyone in the tavern was dead. A demon was said to have done this. The only demon in here was me. Gaming. The McDonald's bandit was located, only he was now burning his wife alive. Oh yeah, so the priest was also back. You know the one I killed with a cross in Paris? You'd be forgiven for thinking it wasn't him because he was dead. God himself intervened. As the rain battered the burning palisades, the queen broke free. The people cowered in fear as they began worshipping her as a saint. He was utterly beloved. Must be nice! because you're bald, bruv. Booyakasha! <laughs> Finally, I had Charles cornered, and this time there would be no conversation. Any last words, Shrek? Okay. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. He slaughtered everyone in the you palace. Done. Away with you, woman, you silly bint. Talking about anger. mercy. Oh, yeah, now Charles is dead. Odo is king, uh, by the way. I, I don't know. I stopped paying attention by this point. Are you subscribed to the Marty Gammon TV? What? What do you mean you're not? Well, bloody subscribe then, you blackguard. Utter state of you. What are you playing at?